God became man so that man can become God by grace. Two very important events that took place in the history of the Christianity are the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ from the Holy Spirit and the Holy Virgin Mary and His resurrection. The first one, the incarnation or the nativity that we're going to celebrate in a couple of days brought joy and consolation to the world. The second, His resurrection brought redemption, salvation for us, the human mankind. Unfortunately, we live in a time in 2020, in the 21st century, where we have forgotten the meaning of Christmas. Christmas begins in our hearts first and then by the tree. We have lost the meaning of the birth of Jesus Christ, why He came, why He did what He did, why there was a need of the Incarnation. It's unfortunate to see again that the world we live and how Christmas has been become commercialized. It's all about gifts, lights and everything, but nobody really would take their time to go to church, to give thanks to Christ. How else we can celebrate Christmas? To help those who cannot help us in return. Go outside, give a gift to somebody that you don't know. Hug somebody, talk to somebody. Those are the things that we tend to forget as, as Christians. There are two things I would like to, to give attention to, speaking of Christmas, and the attention that I would like to give and talk about are the <clears throat> directions of the development of the philosophical thoughts in the time before Christ. The followers of Plato and his disciples and, and his teaching was that, all ex that everything that exists is God, and without God, there's nothing. The second philosophical direction in teaching in a time before, uh, before Christ was the teaching of Protagoras, the followers of the other direction, which were saying and, and arguing that without men, there's nothing and everything that exists must be valued according to human needs. So you see guys, those two philosophical, not extremes, but way of believing that everything is by God and God and everything is by man and man. Then we have another two extremes in the, in the modern time, which is the time after Christ, which is, the, which is the contemporary man. One of the understanding and idea is that God is transcended and cannot be reached because he is somewhere far away. He is somewhere that cannot be seen or we cannot even touch him and everything within. And the second one is God is everything in, in this world and there is nothing in Him. So you can see those two extremes in the time before Christ and the two extremes after Christ, especially in 21st century. Where is the balance? Christianity brings balance, brings that smoothness. Christ Himself through the Incarnation have brought the balance. How? Through Him Himself, He was incarnate, He became man. He was like one of us in everything except in sin. So He can show us, so, so, so He can save us. So you see, we can reach God, we can, we can come to God even without our own bodies through Christ because He came down, He suffered, He is like one of us, He opened the doors. This is why the incarnation, the nativity is important. That's how everything begin, began. The salvation came to the world, the mother of God said yes, the big yes, to the, to the Archangel Gabriel. She wasn't forced, the free, she had the free will, and she willingly accepted. And God w became incarnate through her womb and was born for you, for me, for every single one of us, so that when we cry to God, He will always hear for us, to hear us, to help us, to save us. So again, we're in the Christmas season, and I wanted to do um, a couple of hymns talking about Christ, His nativity, His birth. Let's not forget to give thanks to God because when we have God, we have everything. And glory be to God for everything because everything 
we have is from Him. We often and many times don't deserve, but only by the grace of God and His love that is beyond even our understanding. So again, Christ is born, glorify Him. This is how we greet each other. We don't say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, but we say Christ is born and you would respond, glorify Him. God became man so that man can become God by grace. Amen.